Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hate saying that, I don't know why. Anyways, for today's video, I thought I will do get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere, first of all. <laughs> I am gonna be home the rest of the day. First thing I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. Cooling Under Eye Refresh. My mom got it for me. It feels, you guys, it feels so good. Cause it's like metal, so it wakes you up. <laughs> today's video, I actually, I'm planning on doing like a full glam look. Like the look that I want to look like when I go out, but I usually don't because I was in a hurry and I was sleeping and I didn't have time. So this look is gonna be like intense but i hope you guys like it i'm gonna be using actually two palettes and i hope i only use two palettes i have the modern renaissance palette from anastasia and i also i have the kylie <laughs> god it's so old i got it i think my first year i think so anyways this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen one and this is the modern renaissance palette i thought i would maybe use love letter and Venantine thread, these two, this one and this one. First thing first is priming my eyelid. And for that, I'm gonna be using Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and it's the multi-use sculpt sculpting concealer. It's a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> I, li I like priming my eyes because I have like veins, as people do. So I like to apply just a tiny amount of concealer to make sure that all the color on my eyes is like gone and then i'm gonna set it with a, a loose powder i'm gonna be use the cody airspun loose face powder oh my god this is the messiest powder on earth i will just use the sponge to actually set it because it's fine and now that my eyelids look white we'll move on to eyeshadow i always use like a light light color into my crease just to blend all the other eyeshadows together so i use a big fluffy brush you can see i'm gonna use my forehead that's it's a huge <laughs> surface be using the shade over here should i just do one eye first and then move on to the next or should i risk it all and do do both of them at the same time sometimes there are eye looks that i look at and i'm like i want to try that out but they usually have like a, a huge uh, not huge but like a bigger eye surface than i do like my eyes are my lids are tiny the space that i have to work on is smaller I'm gonna use now like a, an eyeshadow brush that has nothing on just to blend everything in. I'm gonna use a smaller brush and take a love letter from the Anastasia palette, which is the shade here. And I also, I'm gonna apply it into my crease. And I try to look down when I'm doing this to make sure I can see where I'm applying the eyeshadow. It takes a long time to do this but I love it. I don't take as much eyeshadow on my brush because then it gets messy. So I take as little as possible on my brush and then blend it all in and then pick up some more because if it's too messy, it would be harder to clean. But applying more and more slowly is much easier. And when you're doing your eyeshadow, like look at it and see if it needs blending. Just use a brush that's clean, blend it all in together. Okay, I'm gonna do something different that I have never done before and I hope it works out. I'm gonna use a flat brush like this and I'm gonna apply like a lighter shade and I'm gonna be using the warm top from the Anastasia palette, which is here. I'm using the highlighter shade to make my eyes appear bigger. And I'm just gonna use it on the lid, like the space over here. Now I'm gonna use even a smaller brush and pick up this shade over here in the Kylie palette. And now I'm gonna be using this shade over here on the Kylie palette. And I'm also using it in the corner of my eye, the outer corner of my eye. The steps that I did on this eye, I'm gonna do it on the other eye. So using the Love Letter shade from the Anastasia palette. And now I'm taking the, the shade from the Kylie palette, this shade. I'm gonna use the lighter shade on the lid now. This shade in the Anastasia palette. And this shade has, so it doesn't have glitter, but 
it's not fully matte and because we use a lighter shade so it makes the eyes look bigger than they are I think I like the eye look definitely what I was hoping to do like this is kind the kind of look that's for nighttime <laughs> you can't go out during the day looking like this I mean you can if you want to now I'm gonna actually move on to my face this thing I'm gonna be using if you have watched my videos you know I'm gonna use a character under my eyes and when I have like full eye look like it's a, a very like heavy I try to bring it to bring it um, here to make the eyes look more open and awake and I also try to clean up in the inner corner here like I try to apply like a, a lot of concealer and I also apply like the character around my mouth because it's always like darker I have a lot of acne scar my acne even though they don't stay on my face very long as they used to the mark stays there it, it will stay there for <laughs> and my mom actually bought me a new sponge look at this you guys look at how big it is my god this is the beauty blender and this is <laughs> it's huge it's humongous like you can you do your whole face in like one second it's actually from Juno and I'm gonna be using the sponge to blend under my eyes and I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier foundation and I'm gonna be mixing it with the Dior Air Flash foundation because it's a spray I, sp I spray it onto my sponge one thing I hate about the Dior foundation is how cold it is it's always like so cold whenever I film and I'm done with it I'm like Ugh, I wish I was going out I spent so much time doing this just to stay at home What's your guys' favorite TV show? I don't know why I just thought that, but it came to my head. I was like, let me ask. <laughs> I'm not gonna always look this shiny. <laughs> Whenever I'm filming, I actually try to clean up as I go to make sure after I'm done, I don't have to do a lot of work. Since I asked you guys what's your favorite foundation, I thought I would say, what's, what's your favorite TV show in a foundation? If you want to tell me what's your favorite foundation, you can tell me as well. But one of my favorite TV show is actually The Office. Even though the people that know me always see me watching The Friends, The Friends, it's Friends. It's because The Office is not available on Netflix. I'm stuck not watching it. Like I love, I love it. It's definitely something that not a lot of people, like the people I know, don't like it or they think it's like, it's not as funny. It is, it's hilarious. It's, it's so funny. Like, I love watching it. It's the TV show that I watch whenever I just wanna laugh. I actually bought, like, from iTunes, bought the, the first three seasons. I don't know if I like this sponge. It's huge. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> and now that we're done with the concealer, I'm actually gonna contour my face. And I'm gonna be using the Fenty contour stick. Is it the contour stick? I match stick and mocha. And then contour in my cheekbone on my forehead because I have a big forehead. So I try to make I try to contour it to make it look smaller. It's there is no helping it. <laughs> it's uh, it's always gonna look big. But I still try because why not? And I also apply it under my lip. It makes it look like your lips are more pouty. And I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques brush to blend the contour brush. To blend it in. I'm gonna try um, contouring my nose. Even though I'm not good at it, I wanna learn to be good at it. If there is something that you're not good at, try to practice it. Like liquid liner. I am. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. Whenever I come back when, after going out and I'm just gonna be removing my makeup and to go to sleep, I try to practice because I'm gonna be removing my makeup, so it's fine. So try to, to practice before you remove your makeup because I never can do it when I am actually gonna go out. And I never want to ruin my look or have to like, do I have to wash off my face and then do it all over again because I wanted to do a liquid liner. So I try to practice when I'm done. I'm gonna use like a fat thick brush 
to contour my nose. Uh, actually, it's gonna be so bad. I'm gonna practice until I, until I can do it very easily. And I'm not gonna talk because I'm using all my brain cells <laughs> to, do, to do it. I'm gonna stop now. I don't think <laughs> I don't think I did anything. I'm actually gonna be using the sponge just to make sure I clean it up. I don't I don't think I did I did anything. I just wasted my time. It's fine. Let's move on. Now I'm gonna bake under my eyes using the Cody Air Spawn. And I also bake under my contour and I'm gonna apply it in the middle of my forehead as well. And now I'm gonna be using a big brush and pick up some of the powder and just apply it all over my, my face. I usually let it sit for just a few minutes and then wipe it off. Now that I'm done with my baking, I'll be applying my bronzer. It's very empty. I'm hoping to finish it soon. Uh, I'm sick of it <laughs> and even though I contoured like I love to sp um, apply bronzer as well just to make sure the contour is set and doesn't move because it's a cream contour so if you are living in a place where it's hot you have to set all the cream things that you use because it is gonna move and now I actually have this silvery and it's called the Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna use the Fenty. I'm gonna use the Fenty sculpting. No, bronzer brush. And I always um, take my bronzer onto my neck. Next step is the blush, and I will use the Amazonian the Tarte blush from the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Brush Blush and seduce and i'm gonna use be using a smaller brush whenever i apply like heavy eye look i always use like a very nude br blush to make sure it doesn't like, it doesn't become too much now i'm gonna finish the eyes and i use like a small pencil brush and i have the morphe b18 brush it's very small and tiny like what i usually do is repeat the steps that I did on my eyelid to my lower lash line. So I use the first shade that we use to blend everything in. I try to take it as far down as I can, but not too far. And now I'm going to be using the love letter, it's the shade here. This is the eye look. It's very dark, but I love it. I'm gonna be doing my brows now. First thing I do is brush all of them up. I'm gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade, shade number five. As soon as I'm done, I actually brush them up again to, to make sure they look as blended in as, I, as possible. And I'm gonna move on to my highlighter and I'm gonna use the Stella Heavens U highlighter and kitten. It's very like very blinding, so I just use a little bit. The same highlighter I use on my face, I use it on my brow bone. And I use like um, I use highlighter here on the tip of my nose and my cupid bow on my lips and also i also apply highlighter here in my inner corner and i use the same highlighter as i use on my face because i like how it looks i think like together <laughs> it looks all so monochrome and as soon as i'm done with the highlighter i'm gonna set my brows and i'm gonna use the 24 hour brow setter this is just gonna make sure it doesn't move and I, I brush them all up. Like I like how they look when they, they look messy. And now I'm gonna be moving on to my lashes. And because I don't big on false lashes, I hate, I'm not good at you applying them. So I always try to apply like as much mascara as I can. 
So first thing I do is curl my lashes. Then I use the Marc Jacobs primer. Yeah, velvet primer. Don't use a lot of it because it makes them look thicker <laughs> and like together clumping. So I just use, just a, apply a few strokes. I hate how I look when I'm doing my mascara. One thing I found out because of filming is how my eye, my mouth is always open. <laughs> and I don't know why I have my mouth open all the time. I think it's because I'm using all of my concentration <laughs> and my mouth is like, I, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> so I will, I don't let it set a lot. So I, I'm gonna be using the my mascara now. And I use the Monsieur Big Mascara. One thing you should be like careful of is when you use your primer, like make sure it's gone. <laughs> like apply like a lot of mascara as much as you can. And I don't know why primers are not black. And because I went a little bit too much on my mascara, I actually have this kind of like it's a metal like I don't know comb, and I use it to brush my mascara and make sure. You see what you're doing because it will poke your eyes because it's sharp and it's metal. I've done, definitely done that before. And I have cried my eyes out because <laughs> it hurts like a lot. So now that I'm done with my upper lashes, I'm going to apply mascara on my, on my lower lashes. I'm going to clean up my lips because even though I don't apply lip uh, foundation on my lips, they're always tends to be foundation on my lips. I apply my lipstick and I'm gonna use the Matte Beauty 69 Milani brush. Blush? Brush. It's a lipstick. Why am I saying brush? And because the look is like intense, I usually just use a nude lipstick. And now that I'm done with my whole face, I'm gonna set it with the Max Fix Plus. And I don't apply a lot. And after the MAC Fix Plus sets, I use the All Nighter Urban Decay, especially if I'm gonna be going out and gonna stay there for a while. And I love how this smells. And this sure, it's uh, your makeup last, as no, because this just makes sure the powder and everything is like mixed into your skin. And this makes sure, make, makes sure that your Makeup stays the whole day. Okay, you guys, this is it. And I hope it wasn't too long. <laughs> Whenever I am like going out, like my, I, like I spend a lot of time doing my makeup. I just love it so much. Anyways, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this, this glam look. Is it glam? I don't know. I feel like people maybe do more. I feel like my glam look is kind of not too glam. I just go very dark on my eyes. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. Click the like button if you liked it or if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see my face. <laughs> if you want to see my face even more. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.